Counting back by tens, lesson 6.2. We can count back by tens to subtract. We can use a hundred board or a chart to help us. If we want to find 51 minus 20 for a hundred board, the 51 is going to be over here. On a chart from 0 to 99, the 51 is going to be here. See the difference? So depending on which one you're going to use, it'll be in a little bit different place. It'll be moved over because the zeros are coming down here, and we have zeros in the one place on this side, see? Because we started with a 1. We start at the 51 and hop up two rows. Two rows equals two tens. So if we want to take away a 20, that's two tens. We hop up two rows, one, two, and that brings us to 31. See? Either way, if we use a 100 board or a chart, it's going to go up two rows, 51 minus 20 is equal to 31. We hopped up the two rows, and that's where it brought us, because we hopped up two tens. Each row is a 10. Let's try this. 37 minus 20. We start at the 37, and we hop back two rows. One, two. That brings us to a 17. Let's try it again. 83 minus 30. We find the 83, and we're going to hop back three tens. So that's three rows. One, two, three. That brings us to 53. Let's do this one. 79 minus 50. We find the 79, and we're going to hop back five tens, so that's five rows. One, two, three, four, five. That brings us to 29. We have 61 minus 30. We start at the 61. And we're going to hop back three tens, so that's three rows, one, two, three, and that brings us to 31. Now there's patterns. As we subtract more tens, we can see a pattern. Here we have 58, and we're going to subtract 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. When we subtract 110, these five tens go down to a 4, see? Because we took one of the tens away. When we subtract two tens, a 20, it goes down to a 3, because the 2 and the 3 equals 5. When we subtract 30, that's three tens, this is going to go down by 3, so it goes down to a 28. See that? It's a 2. When we subtract four tens, it's going to go down to a 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5, see? When we subtract 5 tens, well, we took all the tens away, so now we're just left with the 8 ones. And do you see what the tens are doing as we subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens? The difference, the answer, gives us 4, 3, 2, 1, and then none. See that? Let's try some problem solving. There's 46 red and blue fish that are swimming together. 30 fish are red. How many fish are blue? So there's 46 red and blue fish, and 30 of them are red. How many are blue? So we think we could subtract three from the tens place, because there's three tens here, right? We could subtract three from that 10, from the four. We could also count back by tens to 36, 26, 16. 46 minus 30 is 16. 6 take away 0 is 6, and 4 take away 3 is 1. There's 16 blue fish. Let's try it again. Tala has 79 cents. Emma 
has 50 cents. How much more money does Tala have than Emma? So we think we need to find the difference between Tala's money and Emma's money, don't we? To find out how much more Tala has. The important numbers are 79 and 50. And if we need to find out how much more, that means we have to subtract. Those are our clue words. We do 79 minus 50 and 9 take away 0 is 9 and 7 take away 5 is 2. Tala has 29 cents more than Emma. Okay? We're going to continue on talking about subtracting two-digit numbers. We're going to talk about regrouping them in the next video. All right? That's one you definitely don't want to miss. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.